Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter, and today I am back uh, with a pretty awesome little toy hauler. It's the 2021 Salem FSX 270 RTK. It is a beautiful day out here in Ohio. Cicadas are out. Luckily, turning up that field back there. It's doing some damage to those little bad boys. Uh, but yeah, today we've got an awesome toy hauler. Once again, 2021 Salem FSX uh, 270 RTK. It is Salem's newest line, or not newest line, I'm sorry, newest floor plan uh, for their toy hauler series. And I definitely think it's something that you're going to want to like, or definitely going to like, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you guys dig RV videos, please make sure to hit that like or subscribe button. It definitely does me a ton of good, and I appreciate it for sure. Keep making some content for you guys. Uh, but like I said, nice little toy hauler here. Here's this back area, nice and screened in. So if you guys are playing some cards, have some dogs or kids running around, everyone is nice and safe, which I think is pretty awesome. And right here, this is a gate, so you can actually lift this up and move it put some stairs right here so you can walk on uh, up or down you know in the back of this so pretty awesome little feature uh, plenty of room in this this is a no slide unit I believe this is my first time actually checking this out yeah it is a no slide unit uh, so you don't have to worry about you know doing any work when you get get to the campground you plug it in you're virtually set up from there but let's go ahead and take a look on the inside I'm thinking this is gonna be about a eight nine minute video something like that but again, thanks for tuning in. All right, so let's head right on in here. This is gonna be the kitchen room, living room, access to the back, which obviously you can drop down. This whole area is gonna be the toy hauler area up to the refrigerator here. And you're gonna see tie downs all over the place. You have two right here, two more underneath, one right here, one right there, and then an additional set underneath that and that. I put this down in the kind of the sleep in the chill mode, what it's like, but on the sides here, you can remove this table. You know, obviously you can set it up for dinner, but you can flip these up against the wall and it has these little tie downs right here. That way you can hold them in place. So, you know, you can bring in your Harley, your dirt bike, your four wheeler, you know, whatever you need. So that flips up, this flips up, you stow away the table or you have it just like it is in this nice little hanging out mode. This is the Malibu interiors. They're the only interior that they offer, so I hope you like it. But you got your little two tones right there. I'm a fan of it myself. Nice windows across here. And you do have little pull down shades right there. Push them back up. Uh, there is the back deck, which I showed you here uh, previously. But you have a nice screened in area that I would opted to go ahead and put in. You have outlets right here with USBs above it, so you can charge all your iPhones, your iPads, Androids, whatever you got. And you have an additional set of outlets and USBs on this side as well. Over here to the right, you got this nice little, uh, I don't know what you wanna call it, little fenced in area, so that way you can put some stuff that'll rattle around and jump around while you're traveling, you know, and don't let it fall out. A nice skylight for some natural light back here. And you're gonna see this is ducted AC throughout. You also have some speakers back here and you can get this thing bumping uh, pretty darn good. Your sound system is right here. This is all your connections. You know, your AM, your FM, inside, outside modes is all in one nice spot. You can also hook this up uh, to your phone for some wireless streaming. TV backer right here. This one did not come with the TV, but you can certainly you know, add that on uh, at any point. It looks like it fits probably about a 40 inch right there. Outlets and your connection for your satellite. You also, it's pre-wired for Wi-Fi with the King Connect. Definitely something I recommend if that's, uh, you know, if you're kind of traveling around for work, you know, if not, heck, put the computer away, put the phone away, enjoy where you're at. Right here, you got this fancy dancy space heater, the Furion 30 inch. This thing has a setting. Um, you know, it pretty much goes all the way up to 100. If it's 45 degrees out, this is all the heat that you need back here. So it'll save you on propane. Keep using that electric. It's also got a couple different settings. You know, you have a timer setting, you have a heat setting, but then you have this where you can change the look of the flames. You know, if there's a particular way that you want it. I myself just kind of like the old natural look, that orange, little blue flames in there, nice and fancy. You got storage here underneath. 
So pretty good space. I do like how they added the touch of putting these drawers in. But you got one right here and one right there. So that brings us here to the kitchen area. Obviously, you see this really ni nice size refrigerator for a travel trailer. Places are going away from that gas and electric refrigerator. They're opting for these larger ever chills, you know, things of this nature. It's a 12 volt, so it'll work while you're driving down the road. You know, at a campground, anything that you got to do there. Let's see here. 10.7 cubic foot. So that's pretty nice. That's tons of space back here. Up above, real good storage. Heck, that goes back probably about a good two and a half feet, I'd say. And if there's any other information or something that you're looking for, definitely make sure to ask me to put it in the future videos. I do put the specs down in the description. And I also do 30 second clips of all my RVs. You can find that in that shorts playlist. It's a good way to rapidly go through some campers and find out what you like. But I'm digging this new floor plan. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's got a lot of storage in here. This goes back about elbow deep, elbow deep. I'm six feet tall, so that's got some pretty good space there. Pretty typical little faucet there. And your single bowl mount or single bowl right there. Nice all you can do is for a covering, cutting board, all that good stuff. You know what to do with that. Your Furion oven, so you guys can bake some cookies. Do whatever you gotta do right there. So maybe some, uh, heck, I don't know. Different kinds of foods. Roast up a pizza. Three stove top burner. Got you something to protect you for the backsplash. Or you got yourself a cover and you have really nice counter space in this for a camper this size. Outlets here, outlets there. You got your hood so you can turn on your fan. Turn the light on and off. Yeah. But there's that. There's this. I'm going to go to the restroom. Or to the, yeah, show you the restroom and then show you the uh, bedroom. Then I'm going to skedaddle for the weekend. See if I can get a hot date with the lady. Oh, right here you got a little vent. So you can open this up. So that way you can get some extra, uh, you know, airflow while you're going. Thermostat right here. You know how those do. And this is your controls for the camper. So this is going to control your awning outside. You know, extend, retract. You have your lights, your water heater, and your water pump. So that's nice. I didn't know this had a water heater. But in some cooler temperatures, uh, you know, you're going to wish you had that, which you do. Bathroom. Looks like your pretty standard RV bathroom. You got a decent sized shower in here that you can stand up in. Some natural light with the skylight. So that helps with people that are a little bit taller. Looks like you got some good storage right here. You got a mirror. Outlets. The non-porcelain throne. That's plastic. And you got a little bit of storage here. All right, so into the bedroom. Let's check this bad boy out. So here's the bed. You got some outlets and some USBs right there. This, let's see if this lifts up. It sure does. You got access to the outside storage along with some organizing totes right here, which is pretty slick. Spare tire, I guess they're keeping in there. Looks like this customer bought the Blue Ox weight distribution. That was a good move. Those things are 750 bucks and they're worth every penny. Go forward and reverse without having to do anything. You can also exchange the bars uh, for heavier or lighter for future use or maybe multiple campers. Two of these bad boys on either side of the bed. So you got some room for some hanging items. You got that. Place to put a couple little knickknacks. There's the other identical one I just mentioned. Oh, look at that. USBs outlets this one has solar so that's uh, your solar charge uh, controller lets you know how your battery's doing get that thing juiced up you got a nice little closet in here this thing's got the works it's probably priced in the mid 20s uh, is what i would guess for now but you know hey price increases on just about everything are coming rapidly we've all seen you know at home depot and lowe's the price of wood all that stuff so you guys are definitely in the market uh, you're gonna want to hop on something sooner rather than later 
I've already seen a 20% increase over last year and I do not expect it to change anymore. Order times are around three to four months. But now I'm gonna step around the outside, show you a couple things here real quick. And if this is where you head out, I do thank you for watching. Again, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how I did, good or bad. I definitely wanna hear it. So you got your more ride steps right here. Let me just show you these. If you're not familiar with them, the entire industry is heading that way. They lock into place and get out of the way. No more of those days of those flimsy, crappy ones that kind of bounce up and down when there's snow, you're slipping, you're falling. You know, you gotta be worried about stuff. To disengage it from the door, you just pull that and yank it out. See, I'm doing this with one hand. Pretty darn easy. Nice big awning with your LED lights. There's that vent that I showed you uh, to get that air circulation going if you choose. Outdoor speaker, outdoor speaker, your cable, and power for that TV. If you want to hang a TV out here, you're good to go. This bad boy comes with the manual, uh, with the manual stabilizings, which are actually better than uh, better than those power ones. I think they can hold a little bit more weight. It's more of a lifting jack. Looks like it's got a quick connect here. Took it up to the griddle, or maybe you want to put a grill. But I love these suburban uh, griddles, man throwing some bacon some eggs maybe some fish a steak a burger who knows man you're camping it's time to eat eat good bet you could fit at least a 24 pack of apple juice in there here's what the front of this thing looks like two 20 pound propane bottles there are the brackets for that blue ox which i was mentioning before looks like we're getting the battery all hooked up and tested right here you have your power tongue jack, that's always nice. This is the one part that I think has to be power. I The manual ones, they just take forever. You're just doing this for 10 flipping minutes. You got a light, not sure how well you can see it there. And obviously up and down. Look at that, it's even got a place to hold your power cord there so it doesn't come tangled up. Battery disconnect, that's always nice to have. Other side of your storage here. If you guys want to, you can pause it on that. If you're the kind of person that likes to take a look at all the uh, all the nerdy, the Staterunis, this thing weighs about 5,700 pounds or so. Your wastewater holding tanks, sewer outlets, sewage holding tanks, all nice and labeled. There you go, right there. Your black tank flush, fresh water connection, city water connection, and outdoor shower. There's where your power cord plugs in. You got another vent right here for more air circulation. And that brings us back around to the back of this thing with my favorite part, the patio. Play some cars, drink some beers, have fun with your buddies. And right here, if you can see, let me zoom in. It is prepped for uh, a Furion observation camera. Runs you $550 installed, but it allows you the freedom to not think while you drive. You know, you get a little four inch screen you're cruising, you're swirling around, and you can see what's on the screen with distance hash marks. You can also angle it down at your bumper if you're at a campground. And you know, you just don't wanna be yelling back and forth with the lady uh, or your buddies. But again, 2021 Salem FSX 270 RTK, badass little toy hauler, their new, uh, their new floor plan. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.